This episode is brought to you by CuriosityStream. Use our link in the description below for a 30-day trial giving you unlimited access to thousands of documentaries and non-fiction titles from some of the world's best filmmakers when you use the code infographics. Perhaps we're rather pessimistic, but we're inclined to believe that sooner or later there will be a World War III or some other apocalyptic event. We're not going to delve into which country will cause what. It could be the assassination of a world leader that triggers a war, or perhaps a plague that causes zombies. But ultimately, there's going to be a devastating series of events that will cause mass destruction, misery, and death on a large scale. So if you're used to your butler bringing your lobster and champagne when you ring a bell, how do you prepare for doomsday? Okay, maybe that was a silly stereotype. But the super wealthy have made plans far beyond the typical doomsday prepper to not only survive in comfort and preserve their fortunes, but also to thrive and possibly even make money off the destruction or reconstruction. For the purpose of this video, we're defining super rich as people who have over $30 million. This is about 0.003% of the world's population, and in 2018 this was 265,490 individuals. Collectively, their combined total wealth was estimated to be $32.3 trillion, or about 13% of the world's total wealth. Obviously, you'd want to make sure your financial assets are in the best position possible to not only ride out the war, but if and when the world begins to rebuild, you can thrive. A common side effect of war is to prepare for hyperinflation. During World War II, Hungary was economically devastated. As a war zone, the country's infrastructure was destroyed, buildings were left in ruins, and personal wealth was looted. Also, Hungary was heavily in debt for extending credit to and producing goods for Germany, which never paid it back. After the war ended, Hungary was forced to pay reparations to the Soviets. All this led to the Hungarian government printing more money, which caused a really bad case of hyperinflation. In August 1945, one kilogram of bread cost six Hungarian pengus. Less than a year later, in May 1946, the same amount of bread cost eight million pengus. It doesn't even take war to cause hyperinflation. More recently, countries have experienced hyperinflation due to land expropriation and printing extra money while the country is running a deficit, etc. The super-rich are already adept at protecting their wealth, such as hiding assets behind shell companies, or moving money to unaccountable and largely untaxed offshore accounts and corporations. However, in recent years, they've intensified the diversity of their investments, often buying sovereign bonds for countries they think could be on the winning side of a major war, and investing in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Also, they've put significant amount of money into a variety of tangible assets, such as gold, silver, copper, steel, and oil, which could be used to rebuild society after a cataclysmic event. Of course, you need places to store such items. What could be better than storage at a luxurious doomsday bunker? Over the past 20 years, there's been a surge in people building doomsday bunkers, especially the rich. In fact, a number of companies have sprung up catering to building doomsday domiciles for the well-heeled. The Survival Condo Project is one such corporation. They've repurposed a silo at the former Atlas F missile launch site in Kansas into an underground oasis that can sustain 75 people for over five years. The facility features condos with lavish furnishings, and among the many shared amenities are an indoor pool, a library, dog park, movie theater, and medical first aid center. Of course, the whole community is protected with cutting-edge technology. The price ranges from $1.5 million plus for a 900-square-foot condo with one or two bedrooms to $4.5 million for a penthouse suite. Thinking of taking out a loan for purchasing such a fancy hidey hole? Not so fast. Many banks won't loan money to purchase secondary luxury shelters. The community only considers buyers who have the funds for purchase in liquid capital. The Survival Condo Project has completely sold out its first silo and is now building out a second silo which is also in Kansas. There are actually a number of expensive shelter communities around the world. In a quiet valley of the Czech Republic is the Opidum. At 323,000 square feet above and below ground, it's the world's largest exclusive luxury bunker. You can't even view the Opidum's website without a secret invitation code. Other corporations, such as the Rising S Company, sells customizable bunkers, which they'll build anywhere in the world for clients. Their top-of-the-line luxury underground bunker is called the Aristocrat, and it starts at $8.5 million plus Whoa. installation costs. Among the many features it comes with are a sauna, a gym, a media room, bowling alley, multi-vehicle garage with motor cave, and a greenhouse for sustainable food growing. While the company has not publicly disclosed how many aristocrats they've sold, in the last few years business has boomed for them. Yet other companies specialize in outfitting existing property to be survival ready. 
Depending on the property, that may mean adding such features such as an underground shelter, solar panels, a water reserve tank, etc. Central to having a fancy yet functional abode for when the world is burning is where the property is located. In recent years, many of the wealthiest Americans have purchased millions of acres of America's heartland and the Pacific Northwest where farming and living off the land is sustainable. Others have sought dual citizenship in countries that they think will be the safest for riding out apocalyptic events, such as Canada or Argentina. New Zealand's mainly rural landscape and the low human population is especially popular with tech billionaires building survival real estate. The fact that New Zealand is commonly not considered a nuclear target is probably part of the appeal too. In recent years, several wealthy American citizens have sought citizenship through the New Zealand Investor Plus Visa, which allows them to bypass the normal immigrant process, but requires them to invest upwards of 10 million New Zealand dollars in the country over three years. Others have focused on amassing citizenship in multiple countries and EU passports, sometimes with lovely private properties in each country, so if times get tough they have a choice of multiple destinations to flee to. Great, you have a fancy protected mansion to survive the apocalypse in style, and thankfully you have loyal employees who in return for a safe place to ride out the apocalypse will protect and maintain your property. But there's one huge problem, travel. Once the zombies begin to rise or war starts, how do you get to your fancy digs so you can hunker down? Well, if you purchased a condo in the survival condo community, they offer three different contingency plans for getting to the facility. These plans are only fully disclosed to purchasers. However, publicly the company has mentioned that if a condo owner can get within 400 miles of the community, SWAT team-style trucks will be sent to pick them up. Other one percenters have arranged to keep helicopters, small planes, or jets on standby near their primary locations in case you know what begins hitting the fan. Some people have even opted to take flying lessons so they can fly even if a pilot isn't available. To get to the airport, many wealthy preppers keep SWAT-style SUVs or motorcycles. Of course, the vehicles are well maintained and the gas tanks are filled. Basically, at a moment's notice, they can leave and outrun, run down or slip through the great unwashed citizenry to make it to the airport to catch their ride to a fancy secure dig. Many of us have a go or emergency bag filled with a change of clothing, basic medical supplies, some snacks, a little cash, and maybe some important documents and beloved pictures on a storage drive. What do wealth preppers keep in their go bags? Beyond the usual, they keep stacks of cash, flashbangs, guns, knives, and bars of gold. The thought being that they'll be able to fight or bribe their way out of any situation and maybe even convince people to help them get to their regional travel point. So if the world undergoes a cataclysmic event, you can expect the very wealthy to survive. <laughs> but you probably can't count on them to pitch in and lend a helping hand in fighting off the zombie horde. Maybe more likely they're chilling in a luxury bunker somewhere, maybe with a supply of antibiotics and other goods that they can barter or sell at exorbitant prices once the initial event has died down and people decide to venture outside. There are even a few billionaires who are pursuing space technology with an eye toward building communities on Mars for when Earth becomes unsustainable for humanity. Though some claim they have altruistic motives, it remains to be seen if our ventures to another planet will end up being an escapist destination for the rich who can afford it, or a mass migration opportunity to sustain humans from all walks of life. We want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Curiosity Stream. We know you love to learn just as much as we do, and there's no better place to get the highest quality documentaries and non-fiction titles than on the streaming surface created for those with a lifelong quest to learn, explore, and understand. We just watched How to Build a Castle, and not only did we learn a ton, now we're ready to build one of our own. With thousands of videos across science, nature, history, and more, you'll never run out of new topics to explore. You can get unlimited access for just $2.99 a month or $19.99 a year. And for viewers of the infographic show, the first 30 days are completely free if you sign up at curiositystream.com infographics and use the code infographics. If this video made you think and you want to see more, then click on this video over here. Or go and click this video. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.